Hi, it's Mike from Search Scientist, and today we're going to be learning about the connection between CTR, stands for click-through rate, and CPC, which stands for cost per click, and how to use that information to get cheaper clicks on AdWords. If I could subtitle this, I would call it how to pay 400% less than your competition and appear above them in the AdWords results. Yes, that is possible, and in order to find out how that's possible, we're going to talk about the link between CTR, cost per click, and quality score. So to get started, we're going to be talking about some basic vocabulary. Of course, CTR, which stands for click-through rate. And to calculate click-through rate, just put your number of clicks over your number of impressions, how many times the ad was seen, and times that by 100. So if we have one click over 100 impressions, we times that by 100 and we get the percentage, which is 1% click-through rate. So that's how you calculate CTR. Up next we have CPC, and on the very surface level, it just stands for cost per click. We're actually going to talk about how Google actually calculates what your CPC is, because you've probably noticed some situations where your bid might be $1, but you only end up paying $0.89. Cents. And finally, quality score. Quality score is extremely important, and it's a relevancy metric Google uses to help rank where your ads show up. So if you want a high quality score, you want to make sure that your ads are very relevant towards what people are looking for, that your keywords are very relevant and tightly knit, that the search queries that people are searching are very related to the keywords that you're bidding on if you're using phrase or broad match, and of course that your landing page is relevant to what people are looking for, and it also has all that privacy policy in terms of service. So let's talk about how CPC is actually calculated. Here's a little image. So your CPC, what you actually pay, is calculated in this way. It takes the competitor below you and it takes their quality score multiplied by their bid. This is going to be known as the ad rank. So quality score times bid is how Google ranks ads. So your CPC is calculated by the competitor below you ad rank divided by your quality score plus one penny. So of course, AdWords is an auction, but it's a special type of auction because it's not just bid-based. It's also bid times quality score. So it's ad rank based because of course, quality score times bid equals ad rank. We'll, we'll revisit this equation many times, I'm sure. Let's take a look at how the CPC calculation varies with a high quality score and a low quality score. Let's take a look at our calculations on the left side in this hypothetical experiment. Let's say we bid 75%. We have a great quality score of 9. That would give us an ad rank of 6.75, which is, of course, our bid times our quality score gives us ad rank. Let's take a look at our competition. Our competition is paying much more than us. So they're paying 400% more than us with a bid of $3.00. They have a very poor quality score of 2, so 3 times 2 would give them an ad rank of 6. Now we have a higher ad rank, so using this calculation, putting their ad rank of 6 divided by our quality score of 6.7 plus 1 penny, we would only pay 67 cents and appear above our lower ad rank competition. So the power of understanding this relationship between our bid and our quality score is extremely important in understanding where our ads show up. Now the title of this video was Understanding the Relationship Between CPC and CTR and How to Rank Higher. And I don't see CTR anywhere on this page. So where does CTR come into play? It's important to remember Google's goal of showing extremely relevant, you know, the very, very best ads to people. You know, Google wants people to click on their ads and they want their ads to be genuinely helpful for people. Uh, also because AdWords is a huge business, so it wants people kn knowing that they're going to get really helpful results if they click on an ad. So if you create a piece of ad copy that users click on more often than others for your position, you'll be given a high quality score because Google will associate that high click-through rate with a high relevancy and therefore give you a high quality score. As a general rule of thumb, it 
often the highest CTR earns the highest quality score. And you can actually check your competitor's click-through rate versus your own. Uh, what you would do is inside AdWords, click on Opportunities, Analyze Competition, and what you'll actually see is something like this. Here we are in blue, our CTR, 12.5, and we can see the average of our competitors in our range, 8.6. So in this particular situation, we were given a really great quality score. Again, the relation between CTR and CPC is very relevant. And if we take a look at this, uh, this is from a client account. Uh, they sell golf balls. And what you can actually see is the CTR increased from 5.6 to 11.6, a huge increase. And how did that translate to cost per click? Well, we reduced our cost per click by 25%. Really terrific. And of course, the intermediary between CTR and CPC is, of course, quality score. During that same period of time where we reduced cost per click 25%, we increased the quality score 60%. So the relationship here is important. So if you're looking for more practical AdWords help, please stop on by searchscientists.com, you know, send us a message, we respond to every email, and I'd be happy to talk more about your AdWords account.